number one asks us to solve each equation without using a calculator and lets us know that sometimes they're going to need to be written in log notation um, for our answer. So for this first one, um, we can go ahead and isolate the 10 to the x by dividing by 4 to everything. So then we end up with 10 to the x equals 100,000. And then we know that 100,000 is a power of 10. So we could um, write it as such. So 100,000 is 10 to the fifth power. And so then that helps us see that 10 to the x is equal to 10 to the fifth. So x must be equal to 5. Next one, 10 to the n plus 1 equals 1. So we can use this idea of getting them in the same base. So 10 to the n plus 1 equals, and we know that 1 is really just 10 to the 0 power. So 10 to the 0 is 1. So then we can see um, that these exponents would equal. So 10 to the n, in order for 10 to the n plus 1 to equal 10 to the 0, that means that n plus 1 must be the same as 0. So then we can just subtract 1 here. So that would tell us that n equals negative 1 in order to make those two equal to each other. Part C, same idea. Um, so we can do 10 to the 3n. And then 1 million is 10 to the 6th power. So we can get those both with the same base. That way we can see that these exponents must be equal to each other. So 10 to the 3n to equal 10 to the 6th. That means 3n would have to be equal to 6 to get those exponents the same. So then divide by 3 to both sides, and we would get n equal to 2. Next one, um, we have something that can't be written as a base 10. So 725 cannot be written as base 10. So this is one of the ones that we're going to need to write in log form. So this one is saying log base 10. So 10 to what power um, would give us 725? So log base 10 of 725 would equal P. So then that would be our answer. Can't simplify it any further without using our calculator. Um, and then E... So we can divide by 6 to both sides so we can isolate the variable here. So we have 10 to this t equals, and then 360 divided by 6 is 60. 60 can't be written as a base 10 again, so we're going to have to do a logarithm. So log base 10 of 60 would equal t. Number two, solve this equation and show your reasoning. So let's first isolate where the variable is. So we're going to get rid of this one-fourth times. So it's one-fourth times this. So we're going to multiply by 4 over 1 to both sides to get rid of that. So 4 times one-fourth would give us 1. So we just get 10 to the d plus 2 is equal to and 0.25 um, times 4 is just 1. And then we know that we can write 1 as a power of 10 um, because that's just 10 to the 0 power. And so then that would mean that these exponents would need to match since they both have base 10. So d plus 2 would have to equal 0. So then we could subtract 2 from both sides and we would get that d equals negative 2. Number three, write two equations, one in logarithmic form and one in exponential form that represent this statement. The natural log of 10 is y. So natural log we write as ln. Um, and so ln of, so the natural log of 10 is y. 
and maybe some of you just write it like ln without the cursive, but ln of 10 equals y is what we're going for there. The natural log of 10 equals y. And then the exponential form would be um, the base, which is an e. So remember on a natural log, the base is e. So e um, to the y is equal to 10. So e to what power gives us 10 would be the exponential form of that. Number four, explain why the ln of 1 equals 0. Well, remember, this is a base e. So we're really saying e to the 0 power equals 1, and e, well, anything to the 0 power is 1. So this is a, so this is a true statement. Um, so then that means that this is true. Number five, if log base 10 of x equals 6, what's the value of x? So this is saying 10 to the 6th power equals x. So 10 to the 6th power equals x. And 10 to the 6th power, if you wanted to write it out, is 1 million. So you could say x equals 10 to the 6th or x equals a million. Either way would be fine. Number six, for each logarithmic equation, write the equivalent um, equation in exponential form. So remember, we do the base, so two, and the logarithm is kicking back the power. So two to the fourth equals 16. Three to the second equals nine. So this last number is always going to be the power. Um, and then your base is always the base. So then five to the one equals five. 10 to the y equals 20, and 2 to the y equals 30. So that's rewriting from logarithmic to exponential. Number 7, the function f is given by f of x equals e to the 0.07x. So what is the continuous growth rate? So the continuous growth rate is this, 0 0.07, or as a percent, 7%. And then what factor does F grow when the input um, X increases by 1? All right, so if we go E um, to the 0 0.07 and then X plus 1, because we're going to increase X by 1. So then um, I'm just going to distribute this um, 0 0.07 to the X and the 1. And then we know that when we add exponents here, when we have exponents that are being added to each other, so let me just get these changed color here, um, that that means that we multiplied uh, the same base. So we could go e to the 0.07x, and we could multiply that times e um, to just the 0.07. So then we have our original. So this part matches our original. So we're really higher by this number. So this is what we're increasing by. And so if we look at um, typing that into our calculator, we would get, um, so E to the 0 0.07 is really, okay, so we've got this part, which is our first um, and our original equation, and then this is this much higher, 1.0725. So that's the factor different from the original. So this was our, you know, original year, and then an extra one year gave us this extra factor here. And um, so by what factor does it grow? 1.0725. So that would be your growth factor every time it's increased by one.